Yeah, so I'm just on my way to get my bike serviced. I'm taking it up to a place called uh, John Harris Motorcycles, who um, they've looked after my bike since I got it. I'm taking it easy because it's been a bit slimy the roads today, and my bike just doesn't feel. That's, you know, it's due an 8,000 mile service, but also something's not felt right on it. I don't know if anyone else has had that feeling before. Um, I'm sure you have because it's, it's, it's pretty normal. I have it quite a lot. It's um, not quite a lot, um, but you know, you know when you get on your bike, you think, "What's that noise? I didn't hear that ticking before, or I didn't hear that creaking before, or something like that." And um, to me, it's like the front end feels a bit weird. It's, it, I've checked the tire pressure. Um, it just feels the front end feels really light on the bike, and it has done for the past sort of three weeks. Um, so I just I'm hoping that will. I'm sure it's a. I'm sure the service is a placebo half the time. I'll get it back, and it will just. I think it'll feel fine. And I'll be given a um, a loan bike, and I'm not sure what that's going to be. That's right, the fucker. I don't feel like myself. I feel like someone else. I feel all Americanized. They got a red visor. Ah! And a hole. That's all that. A hole. Anyway. There's a few, few problems with it. Um, uh, there's not much better brake there. But the funniest bit is if I indicate right, here right, left. If I indicate left, right. <laughs> I thought it's interesting anyway. <coughs> so I'm having to think about that as I'm as I'm riding along. But it's free. It's always always good to have a free bike. You know, I'm not having to pay for it. It's a loan bike at the end of the day. And the day they don't have to give you one. I just want to get out of here. But, yeah, so it's all good. And I'll just make my way to work now. And then that, I, I was gonna, I was gonna review this bike, but I really don't have the mechanical knowledge, and I don't know enough about the history of the VFR to do it justice. So, I, uh, so I'm going to stay away. All I can say is it's a nice bike, and so you could probably pick it up quite cheaply, one of these, um, and they would, they would do you proud. Sad news is that when I went to the garage, don't worry, something to do with the bike. When I got to the garage to drop my bike off and to pick this one up, um, I checked my phone, and on the answer phone there was a, oh, they had a missed call, and on the answer phone there was a message. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Um, I hadn't seen him for about six months or something, like that, but, I, but I've been talking to him online quite, quite, um, quite frequently. Uh, to the fact that I was actually speaking to him last night online on MSN. And um, the reason I've been talking to him recently is because he knew I was had my bike, and he was thinking about getting back into biking and stuff like that. And um, and he was asking advice on on what bike to go for and things like that. But he's been out. Of, he hasn't ridden a bike, I don't think, for ten years. But he's got his full license, so he was he was worried about going straight down the sports bike route and, and things like that. I, I, anyone asks me, I'll, I'll always sort of push people towards a, a, a VFR um, VFR 800, a CBR 600F, or a CBR 600RR. It's just what I tell people. To, you know, I think they're the three good bikes and there's the differences there but um but anyway um he was he said they were really interested in a fire blade and um i can understand that because i'd love a fire blade as well uh, he, he started talking about the fire blade and he started talking about an r1 and so on like that and i said look i know a bit about the fire blade because i've i've been researching myself and um i told him that there was a uh, I'd seen the red and black 09 one up for 7,000 quid on my Alfa's motorcycles. And it was a beautiful piece of kit. It had, and it had all this carbon stuff on it as well. And um, 
I was getting the web address. So, um, that was only last night. Anyway, the message I got this morning was apparently he, um, he died last night. Or well, was killed. Um, apparently what happened was he found he found the website that I told him about. The, the, he clicked on the link, clicked on the pictures. And as soon as the picture of the fire blade came up, his computer had, spent, had this, some sort of power surge and the monitor exploded in his face. And I don't, I don't know what's in those monitors, it's some sort of acid or, or something like that. But the glass and the acid, it just, I mean, it just it, it pulverised his face apparently. It, it was just shards of glass running everywhere. And then <clears throat> on top of that, the, the keyboard went flying up in the air. And because um, he's got a, because he's old fashioned and he's got a um, wired one, I mean, mine's wireless. Um, because the, the keyboard flew up in the air, flipped down, and the cable from the keyboard slid across his jugular vein, and of course, then his neck was totally exposed and chucking blood out everywhere, pumping blood out all over the place. Um, which I believe, like his wife got there and she grabbed it and she was trying to stem the flow of blood. But then to top that off, while she's doing that and there's blood everywhere, apparently the mouse um, from the which was a wireless one, if that's relevant, that that flew up into the air. Um, sort of, I don't know what happened, but and then it came flying back down, landed straight in his mouth while he was screaming, and he fucking choked on it. So all that from looking at a bloody picture. It's quite sad, really, but it was a nice bike, I have to say. I mean. I mean, I don't I could handle it. Maybe it's because I always ride, already ride a Honda. I don't know. But if you want to check it out, Alps Motorcycles, used bikes, there's a, there's a red fire blade, red black fire blade on there. Have a nose, have a look. Um, but it's a bit sad. Funeral, um, probably later this week, early next week. But the, um, as I say, every, uh, the, the saying goes, every cloud has a silver lining, which it does, you know. Um, I'm going to pop around and see his wife tonight and um, she's quite good because she's only ever given me um, blowjobs before but but because um, because he's gone now I'm hoping for the whole the whole shebang you know, wish me luck